Good evening, everyone. I hope I'm audible. Um, I trust you had a great time listening to some of the pioneers in the industry and must be excited about the upcoming Media Ace Awards. Um, I'd like to sincerely pass on uh, congratulations and best wishes to many of you who are going to receive the awards, whether or not winning or not. But your presence here in this day itself uh, shows how much passionate and enthusiastic you are about your projects, your clients, and uh, the entire advertising and media ecosystem. While we appreciate the work done so far through awards, I think it's very important for us to introspect uh, whether we are doing or we are preparing ourselves for the future, uh, which is going to be very different, right? And I'm glad to see many of the previous sessions here, which was particularly focused on uh, on this particular question, are we future ready, right? So, um, while we have heard so many good points from the peers, but I would love to share my own perspective uh, towards future readiness when it comes to brands' digital strategies. Okay. okay, so there are four key ingredients to future readiness in digital strategy, which I would love to share with you today. Be it a holistic and enabling data strategy, or content format that connects with the end consumer. Be it about generating engagement that creates a long-lasting impact, or be it the new age tech innovations, right? I think, um, you know, we can deep dive on each of the four key ingredients one by one. When all of us um, talked about data strategy in the last decade, cookies were at the forefront, isn't it? Um, now that cookies are crumbling and leading to loss of data potentially for you in the future, I guess I don't need to deliberate why and how that's happening, but instead most critical part is how we come up with a more reliable alternative, right? An alternative that can truly represent a customer in a deterministic manner across devices throughout the day. We have been talking since last decade that mobile is going to surpass web, uh, which is, as a matter of fact, has already happened, and the penetration is further increasing with the advancement of 4G and now 5G, etc. The time has come. The time has come um, to adopt mobile IDs as the primary targeting identifier. There are so many advantages out of which the most important ones I would want to highlight here. Firstly, cookies can track a single session while a mobile ID is available across smartphone usage. Right? Secondly, when cookies are limited to the web-only experience, mobile IDs can be linked to email IDs and phone numbers, which are generally set up during the phone onboarding to identify the same customers across devices. Thirdly, uh, yeah, uh, and while cookies can be generated even for bots, mobile IDs are only against real humans who are using the smartphone, right? If we are indeed adopting mobile IDs as the unique identifier for more impactful targeting of customers, then the next step is to associate the mobile ID with meaningful insights already being generated from smartphone usage, right? In order to achieve that, what could have been a more apt service on smartphone than the humble keyboard? 100% of mobile users are using the keyboard as a must-have necessity while having conversations or while using other apps for e-shopping, cab booking, food ordering, etc. Interestingly, users are spending more than 30 minutes every day on these smartphone keyboards subconsciously out of the th three and a half hours that they spend on a whole uh, in the smartphone, right? They're opening the keyboard 100 times a day out of 400 times that they unlock their devices. These keyboard intents can be processed to derive in-depth user insights which can fuel your innovative marketing campaigns. For all the good reasons told just now, we at Bobble AI, the world's largest conversation media platform, having a portfolio of keyboard applications, came up with DAS, 
data as a service offering to offer data intelligence that matters to brands. All our data intelligence linked to mobile IDs is backed by our own first party data of 80 million plus keyboard users who are having 1 billion plus conversations in 130 plus languages segmented into 280 plus unique categories. Without getting into the depth of them, this powerful data has multiple use cases. It can be used by brands for generating insightful and actionable market intelligence, or the same intelligence can be activated as audience's input inside programmatic advertising, or simply for enriching your existing first party data or for identity resolution. There are so many use cases where this data can be used. Right? The second key ingredient to future readiness is the ability to connect with the consumers deeply by creating and distributing relevant content. When we talk about content, the very first thing that used to come to our mind was the design of banners or creatives for digital ads. Fortunately, it has evolved into a mix of social media creatives, including Insta Reels, YouTube Shorts, Tweets, and Facebook Posts. In spite of that, that, brands are still missing out on a category of content that is the most engaging in today's world. I am talking about conversational content, the world of emojis, stickers, and GIFs. If you look at the sheer volume of conversational content being shared every day, it surpasses the total volume of tweets, YouTube videos, Facebook and Insta posts all combined together. It's not that we need to insert brands into conversations, but rather brands are already present there. It makes all the more sense for them to take ownership of the category when it's being talked about during that conversation. Only then I believe brands can tap that real-time conversational intent opportunity and influence their customers in the language they easily understand and speak every day the language of stickers, GIFs, and emojis. At Bobble, we have made it possible for hundreds of brands, some of the examples you can see on the screen, someone telling their friend that she's on the way via Air Asia, someone telling their weekend plan with bingo snacks, someone wishing good morning with Ray's coffee. With subtle and contextually relevant amplification of these brands in day-to-day -day conversations. The third key ingredient for future readiness is identifying unique and innovative touch points within the smartphone ecosystem that can generate long-lasting impact in the minds of the customers. At Bobble, <laughs> we identified some of such, um, some of the user insights that led to the creation of engagement-driven inventories. One cool example is a live score bar that shows during a match on top of keyboard real estate, enabling users to remain updated with the live score of the sports they care for. It was leveraged by one of our partners, GameG, during the last IPL season to drive millions of GameG branded conversations on WhatsApp during IPL matches, leading to discovery, engagement, click-throughs, and app installs. Another case study is by HDFC Bank, which leveraged the Bobble keyboard as an omnipresent source for creating personalized greetings and distributing them across social media properties via HDFC salespeople during festival times. While we may try to crack distribution in each of the platforms, or we simply enable story creation and distribution from a single source, focusing the energy and budget for wider outreach across social platforms, be it Insta Reels, WhatsApp status, Facebook story, or Twitter post. The third example is the engage, uh, for the engagement that impacts is the chatbot experiences. They are increasingly being adopted as the primary mode of communication by businesses with their end customers. Can we make it more engaging and human by integrating visual content natively into the chatbot experience, converting moments of frustration into moments of delight. Right? 
And the final ingredient or fourth filler, as I call it, of future readiness is adopting the new age technology innovations faster than others. Amongst the recent tech innovations, two of the most buzzing concepts are NFTs and metaverse. The idea is to create digital assets and associate it with some tangible uh, physical value so that customers would want to own them for their lifetime. Here is a case study from the recent NFT collaboration we at Bobble did with Kama Sutra condoms, right? Where we uh, minted some of the most loved uh, conversational content of Kama Sutra into NFTs, which was being uh, acquired by the fan base of Kama Sutra through our NFT portal. With that, I would like to, uh, you know, by way of quick introduction, Bobble AI is the world's largest conversation media platform on a mission to enhance everyday conversations for billions of people, making them much more expressive, localized, and intelligent with deep tech innovations. While on one hand, our consumers, our consumer products are widely used by millions of people, on the other hand, we help brands in delivering their messaging in an impactful manner. Thank you so much for listening.